Operational amplifiers, or op-amps, are one of the most useful circuit blocks available for analog circuit design. They've been around for many years and are now a staple for the design engineer. Op-amp ICs come in a variety of forms, standard dual inline chips, surface mount versions, and you can also get several individual op-amps in one chip. And of course, op-amp functionality is contained in much larger analog ICs as well. So what is an op-amp? Its circuit symbol is generally depicted as a triangle as we see here. Probably its most notable attribute is that it has a very high gain. It can be considered as infinite for most applications, although in reality it may be anywhere from 10,000 upwards. The op-amp also has a very high input impedance and a low output impedance. For many applications the input impedance can be considered as infinite and the loading on the previous stage ignored and the output impedance is zero, and again this can be ignored. The operational amplifier has a differential input. In other words, the output is proportional to the difference between the two inputs. The amplifier inputs are labelled plus for the non-inverting input, and minus for the inverting input. If a signal is applied to the non-inverting input, the signal will come out at the output in the same sense as it appears at the input. In other words, a rising input level on the non-inverting input will result in an output level increasing. They are said to be in the same phase. Conversely, a signal applied to the inverting input will appear 180 degrees out of phase at the output. It is inverted, and any increase on the input will cause the output level to fall. As we mentioned earlier, the op-amp has differential inputs, and this means that if the same input is applied to both inputs, then the output should not change. This is a feature known as the common mode rejection ratio. Other connections on the op-amp must not be forgotten. Power rails are needed, typically positive and negative. As these are assumed to be present, they are not normally shown on circuit diagrams. This keeps them from becoming too cluttered with unnecessary wires. Other connections that may be present are the offset null ones. These are used to reduce any small DC offsets that may be present at the output. They may be used for certain DC amplification circuits. If they're not to be used, they can just be left unconnected. Operational amplifiers provide exceedingly high levels of gain, and therefore they're virtually always used with feedback. In this way, they can form the basis of a whole variety of circuits, from amplifiers to mixers, filters to oscillators, differentiators to integrators, and a whole lot more. They're probably one of the most versatile analog circuit blocks available.